Hello and welcome. My name is Stephanie Linhart, Europe Editor at The Banker, and I'm on the line to Nikolaus Georgikopoulos, Visiting Research Professor at New York University Stern School of Business and Senior Research Fellow at the Center of Planning and Economic Research, CAPE, in Athens. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for inviting me to your program. Thank you. We, we've had a lot of back and forth between the Eurogroup and the Greek government in recent days, but it seems the Greek population will actually get to vote on an austerity package on Sunday. Yeah, that's true. Actually, the last week I was in New York, visiting uh, the New York University, and I was almost certain we will have a deal soon if Greece has to stay or leave from the Eurozone. Personally, I believe that Greece belongs and should stay at Eurozone. What do you think that, the result of the election will be, though? Will it be a yes or a no? To be honest with you, uh, that's still... Uh, nobody can tell you what, if the Greek people, they vote for yes or they vote for no. And why? I say nobody can confirm what it will be the, you know, the outcome of this referendum. Simply because the people are quite confused at the moment. Imagine if you are a Greek citizen after six years of sacrifice for huge austerity measures, of having actually lost 25%, 30% of your income, you have you had to pay more and more taxes. So if you ask the people, no to austerity measures or yes to austerity measures? Obviously, people, they say no. But if you add to that question also a no, at the upcoming referendum means exit from Eurozone, I'm almost certain that the Greek citizen, they will vote even if they do not want more austerity measures. If they, they don't want more a kind of misery in their life, they will vote for yes. If we have a yes vote, um, there still a lot still has to be done. Oh, there's no doubt about it. There is no doubt about this. Uh, many structural reforms should have been implemented long, long time ago. I live in Greece, but I also I'm traveling very often from the other side of the Atlantic, and I'm coming very often in London. And I can tell you, looking, looking at the problem from outside, I can see many, many things that are wrong in Greece. But at this time, we have only two options. To agree that Greece has to stay in this path and in this path to implement quickly, as soon as possible, as many uh, structural reforms are still not haven't implemented from the previous program. But also, you have to understand, we have more things on the table now. Because the economy, the last five or six months, has been actually, I would say, deteriorate. deteriorate. In other mm -hmm. words, we had a small, uh, I would say, primary supply. Not now, I am not sure it is anymore primary supply. We had kind of been twice in the market, in the financial market, even with small amounts, in uh, last year, in, uh, before the summertime. I think in May and June, and right now, April and May, and right now, there is not any way of thinking the next few months of being able to borrow from the market again. We are depend on the liquidity coming from the euro partners or euro credit or euro partners or, is, or international official uh, uh, lenders. There is no any other way of Greece staying alive. The feeling of the Europeans would be that Greece citizens have rejected Europe and European support. And somehow the solidarity, whatever the solidarity, has already been passed to us. Um, from, from an economist's perspective, as in your perspective, what do you think actually has to be done to make the Greek economy work now? Let's be realistic. The first thing is the Greek banks, they have to open. They have to operate. 
if they are, if the Greek, if the banking system is not operating, is not working, there is not going to be not growth. There is not going to be any, I would say, any movement in the real economy, any transaction. So at the moment, as you know, the deposits. The customer deposit in the Greek banking system is not more than 121 billion. It used to be, as far as I remember, in January 2010, more or less at the level of 235 billion. I think it's 200, it was 234.8, according to my research. Mm-hmm. Can you understand how much money they have been out of the system? And you know better than me that if the money us quicker money go out of the system, it takes 10 times to return back on the system. And what it requires, it requires trustness. The, to be honest with you, the Greek people, they do not trust its financial system, its mm-hmm. banking system. I think, but Greece, I think, belongs to a currency union alongside with richer and more developed EU countries. If we actually come out of this group, I don't think there is a future for Greece. I don't think there is a future for banks. If we have a Grexit, oh, I hope that would never happen a Grexit. It would be a disaster. The NPS, they go up to 120 billion, 125 billion, 130 billion. Nobody can control it. You've mentioned the NPLs, obviously a big problem. We, we've Huge seen, problem. We've seen the Huge big, problem. We've seen the big deposit outflows. Um, there are capital controls. Um, how resilient are the Greek banks at the moment, would you say? At the moment, the banks uh, depend on ECB, uh, ELA uh, funding. ELA funding actually has been stopped. That's why the capital control has been imposed in the Greek economy. Yeah. Simply because the capital control means Imposed, which obviously imposed is, is limits on the amount of daily deposits that the customer can withdraw. And uh, the worst can happen right now is that uh, I hope it will be not actually uh, implemented soon, but ECB could trigger also another, could actually raise the haircut on the eligible asset used as collateral. If that happened, I have to tell you. Next week, the banks, in any case, next week the banks, I don't think they will open. But next week, the banks will have twice the problems they have right now. Mm-hmm. And I don't think the Greek banks, they will open. Even a yes is being voted. It will take a few more weeks if a yes is on the table after the referendum. Now, And if a no is on the table? If a no on the table, I'm sorry to tell you that uh, I'm not a prophet. I'm not going to uh, make assumptions, but then we go in uncharted water. We are going in a known path. And more likely, when you are in a known path, the possibility is to make mistakes. You know, and the possibility of a Brexit will be increased significantly. I hope the people in Greece, they will think twice. What does a no mean? And what does a yes mean, obviously? Yes, it obviously means, yes, we go ahead, but we will have to take further austerity measures from the other side, stay in, uh, you know, outside from Eurozone. I think the light will come, will take years and years to come. Nikolaos Georgikopoulos, Visiting Research Professor at NYU Stern School of Business and Senior Research Fellow at the Center of Planning and Economic Research in Athens. Thank you very much. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you.